So you're down here to help out the boys from Frag for Cancer. Uh, why'd you do it? Uh, <laughs> that's loaded, man. I know. <laughs> no, I did it because, well, A, uh, I've lost a few relatives and friends to cancer, so it makes me feel good to help. Uh, and B, I've never been to Halifax or Nova Scotia, and I've heard so many good things about it. Um, so when I had the opportunity to come down and help out, it, uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. Just jumped on it. Uh, the show, well, it aired in March. The TV show aired in March. Um, right after we wrapped up post-production, a week later, uh, I became a dad. And, uh, and I took the time off because we're in between seasons anyways. And I've just been doing a lot of traveling and dadding out. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, just in, enjoying life. Now I'm back in Toronto, started working again, doing some writing, um, and hopefully soon a bit of acting to complement the writing I've been doing, and uh, trying to get back into the swing of working now that I took almost a year off to, to hang out with the family, so. <laughs> so you casted a little bit for the recent yeah. fiber op tournament. Yeah. How was that? Was that a neat experience? Oh, casting was incredible. Uh, I mean, I watch a lot of StarCraft II, probably like an unhealthy amount, according to my wife. Um, and I've always wanted to get into it, like I want to contribute to the community because I feel like such a leech, like I watch all this programming and I read all the boards, but I never really contribute to it, I'm always in the background lurking. And uh, so I've, I've told myself a lot in the last year that, you know, you gotta get off your ass and just do something, give back, do some showcast or something. So I'm glad that Frag for Cancer ended up being that, that push I needed to just get in front of a microphone and do it. And, and since doing it, I've had so much positive feedback and people were just so happy and excited about it. And all the fan mail came flooding back in. It was a reminder to what it, you know, it felt like putting something out there. And, and, and uh, I almost forgot that there were all these Pyrrhonage fans. I got so caught up in Dadland that I, I almost forgot about planet Earth. And uh, so it felt really good. And I'm actually gonna do more, hopefully a lot more now. So um, I'll, I'll be able to thank Frank for Cancer for uh, <laughs> pushing me in that direction. Anything else, uh, any new projects on the future other than children? <laughs> More children for sure. Um, again, I'm in enjoying that. Um, I will do some show casts. I don't intend to make that like a, 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 my living or anything. Uh, it's something I just want to do for fun on sort of like a, a weekend warrior project. Um, for me in the future, what you should expect is um, I'm going to put out some more video content on, on the internet. This time I'm going to, I mean, Pure Noge is eight years old. Uh, it's a different world back then, no streaming media. So now I'm I'm kind of jumping in the YouTube social media end and, and trying to learn uh, that. So I've got a YouTube channel, I'm gonna put up some funny videos. Uh, now I don't know if that'll be a living either, because um, I'm also doing some writing and looking for some more traditional television work um, now that I have that door open. Uh, cool. So I'm, I'm writing and, uh, and soon I'll be producing some funny videos. Uh, <laughs> So come out, come out to the Frag for Cancer events, uh, especially if you're in the Halifax area. Frag for Cancer 6 is on September 24th. You're gonna play games at home anyway. Uh, come out to these events and, and uh, use your gaming skills to help uh, defeat a, a horrible disease.